the art of, of female impersonating. It certainly does go back many, many centuries. Centuries? Yeah. Not just a hundred years? No, a lot more. Back to where? I think Greece. Yeah, the Greek theater. I mean, in, in Shakespeare's time, uh, men played female roles in, uh, in classical theater. Oh, definitely. That's where the term drag came from. Really? Yes. The costumes were always too long for the most of the young boys, so they dragged on the floor, mm -hmm. hence drag. I had no idea that that's yeah. where that word originated. In Hollywood, fame is a fleeting thing to coin a phrase. I bet very few of you remember a girl named Cecilia Sisson. Beautiful Cecilia Sisson with the face of an angel and the figure of a wood nymph. <laughs> Among the top ten at one time and now but a memory. What happened? This is the inside story. My name is Cecilia Session. S-I-S-S-O-N, Sisson. I starred in the first all-talking picture, Mississippi Melody. I had been on the silent screen for seven years and had worked with Wallace Beery, Buster Keaton, the Aubrey Smith, and many others. My career was going great guns when suddenly something happened. Overnight, I hit the skid, so to speak. They seemed to feel that there was something wrong with my voice. <laughs> Absolutely ass nine. <laughs> there wasn't a thing the matter with my voice. It was studio politics. That's what it was. I just wouldn't play ball with the producer. And I told him so in no uncertain terms. Now, when I watch all the old movies on TV, I say to myself, Cecilia, with your looks and talent, you could have been one of the greatest stars today if you'd only learned to keep your big mouth shut.